Nick. This is uh, Detective John Wallen. Hello. How are you? Hey, guys. Fine. How are you? Good. Let's see if we can find some. You know what that chair is? This chair is kind of a scary one to be found. you understand you're not under arrest okay i will make sure that's that's oh i know that I'm, yeah i know that okay and, and it's my understanding that you you testified at the grand jury this morning that correct yeah. okay and, and mr gohagan had made mention of uh that you'd be willing to come in and you know un, under oath whatever that yeah is. i don't have a problem with it okay so you're still fine doing mm -hmm. that okay i guess let's just kind of start from the beginning you don't know us or i, I don't know you you don't know me so uh let me get your full name nicholas Hauk. Oh, sorry, guys. What's your current address? 99 Olympia Drive. Is it here in Bardstown? It is. 40004, right? Mm hmm. Okay. What's your uh, cell phone number? 502 507 uh -huh. 4870. And who's your service through? ATT. Is it? Yeah, ATT. Okay. Any other cell or blue, phones? Or bluegrass. It's one or the other. at t or bluegrass. I just changed it about uh, maybe a month ago. Okay. What's your date of birth? 12-18-1979. You reside there at 99 Olympia Drive with anybody else? My girlfriend. Okay. Who's, what's her name? Amber Bowman. Do you know her date of birth right off? She's born in 84. It's uh, April the 11th. Okay. All right. How long y'all live there? We've only been there for uh, two or three weeks. Okay. And we just, I don't know if it matters, we just moved from 104 Glenview Drive okay. in Marchtown. 104 Glenview, what did you say? Glenview. Glenview. Um, I guess it's just kind of kind of start from the beginning. Um, you know what we're here to talk to to us about, right? Sure. Okay. What what is that? Yeah, Crystal Rogers. Okay. How do you know Crystal Rogers? She's uh, my brother's uh, girlfriend. Okay. And, and how long have have you known her? How long have they been? I'm assuming. Did you know her before they started dating? No, I didn't. So when when did how long have they been dating? Uh, I'm two or three years maybe. So two or three years. Mm-hmm. They have a child together. That that right? Yes. Okay. What's his name? Eli. How old Eli? Uh, about two and a half. Okay. Okay. And do, do they reside together or they? Yeah, they reside together. Okay. What's their address? One, uh, one thirteen or one sixteen Glenview. So y'all live pretty close when you were at the old house. Mm -hmm. And your brother's name is Brooks, is that right? Yeah, Brooks out. How much interaction did you have with with Crystal over the years? Almost none. Okay. I mean, did y'all? How how often would you see your brother and her, or, or just her? Or? I mean, I passed her on the street. And that's about it. You know. I mean, my brother's got a bunch of rental properties and stuff, and I mean, I just don't see. I, I see him on the road. And that's about it. You know. Okay. He's so busy. We just we, we don't hang out much anymore. Okay. I mean, did y'all go to family functions together around Christmas and Thanksgiving? Or? It, it, 
you know, if we've got time, we do, you know, I mean, I've got about a dozen rental properties and work full time with the PD and obviously got a family and, sure. you know, I mean, we're just busy guys. Sure, I understand that completely. We, I think we can, we can sympathize with that. Uh, Definitely. Uh, so, in, in the two to three years they've been dating, how many times have you been around Crystal? I've been down there to this house, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe half a dozen times or so. Okay. Could be more, could be less. I mean, we're, we're not trying to, to yeah. put you into a specific number. Yeah, I know what you mean. Sure. Um, what did you know about them, their kind of, their relationship? What did you know about their relationship? I mean, they didn't really argue or anything in front of me, if that's what you're getting at. I don't, I mean, they, usually they seem pretty happy to me. We we all have you know we've got I've got a brother and if he something's going on he'll call him bitch you know he's gonna call well the, you yeah. won't believe what this crazy woman did or you won't believe this or you won't believe that I mean did he ever give give you anything like that No nah, well he didn't complain to me Okay So how often would you see your brother I know you said you pass him on the street and that's about it but how I mean how many times a year would you would you see your brother you know, if I need a tool or something like that to borrow from him, I may see him, but, uh, I mean, I couldn't really put a number on it, okay. you know, I mean, I, I've been, you know, I've, got, I've had the rental properties now for four or five years, I've got most of the tools I need, but every once mm -hmm. in a while he does have something, you know, that I need or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So do you have, a, do you have a separate company established for your oh, rental yeah. company? Okay. Yes. I know, and I know he's got a rental company property, is that correct? So is it, are two completely separate yeah, entities? Yeah, you, you don't do business with family. Uh, trust me, I understand that too. Um, what's the name of your business? It was House Properties, but it, it no longer exists. I dissolved it. Okay. In 2014. Okay. So it's just kind of doing it on your own? Yeah, I just decided I didn't need the LLC. I mean, just extra money for nothing the way I saw it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I'm not expecting to get sued or anything, so. Sure. And your brother, what's, what's the name of his business? Help rentals. Okay. How many rental properties do you think he's got? I'm going to guess between 80 and 100. And he builds full time also. So is he a framer or is he a... He's in everything. Everything. So he's, he's your all-purpose all man then? He is. What's, I mean, what's, what, does he do something more than, a, I mean, does he do one thing more than another? Like, does he frame more than, than anything else? Does he roof more than anything else? I mean, he's just in all of it. I mean, he jumps right there and helps whoever's out there. I mean, obviously he has, uh, you know, certain guys come in to do like the plumbing and electric stuff sure. like that that are licensed. Sure. But, I mean, he's, he's in there getting his hands dirty. Okay. Okay. So is he building for himself for the rental company or is he building? No, he, usually he uh, sells the houses that he builds. Okay. So he's a, a what do they call that? A uh, slumlord? No, not a slumlord, but uh, there's a, uh, you built a spec house. Yeah, spec house. No, uh, he's building houses $150,000 and up now. Okay. Custom homes. Okay. So you see, you, you, you see, it, it may be one, you know, just a handful of times a year. It could be more than that. It just depends on what, yeah. what your situation is. And, and did you, in, in the times that you did see Crystal, I mean, did did you ever have any conversation with her? Or? No, I mean, I really, I didn't. I never had any issues with Crystal, but I wasn't around her that much. I mean, she seemed like a pretty easygoing person to me. Okay. Um, do you know any of her family? No, I don't. Okay. What about what about your nephew? Do you spend time with him, or? I wish I could say yes. I mean, I, no, I don't really see him much. Okay. Well, now, didn't, yeah. didn't your brother run for sheriff, I guess, he, last he, election? He, how, how did he have time to run a campaign? I don't have any idea what he was thinking or any. I just, <laughs> I guess he thought he was really good at building. He had a lot of success there, and he thought he'd transition into the law enforcement, okay. but uh, I told him don't do it. Yeah. So. I mean, how what? How'd that turn out? Not good. Yeah. Politics is, you know, police is one thing, politics is another. Exactly. So, um, I mean, did, 
did why did he decide to run for for sheriff? Did he did he ever say? He, just, he never said. I guess he thought he could. I, I don't know if he planned on uh, continue building and then uh, also be chair. I don't know what he was thinking. But okay. I tried to talk some sense into him, and I guess it went in one ear and out the other one. So gotcha, gotcha. Who would have won sheriff? You think he'd made you as chief deputy? I wouldn't work for him. You wouldn't work for him. Well, I mean, I'm happy with the PD. No, no reason to leave. How long have you been to PD? I was, I was with Lebanon for about a year and a half. I think I've been here for about uh, eight and a half, nine, something like that. Okay. okay. What year did you come on in Lebanon? 2005. Okay. Right now. You said you were in for a year and a half? Mm-hmm. What made you come here to Barstow? This is just where I was from. More money, better yeah. benefits. I mean, I, I started out at seven eighty an hour, and then went to $15 an hour, whatever it was, and I started here. So yeah, it's quite a, that's a double your long. Yeah, it's double. double your salary. Mm -hmm. And um, any trouble since you've been to PD with anybody? No. Everybody get along pretty good? For, for, the, for the most part. I mean, obviously a bunch of officers with type A personalities. I mean, uh -huh. you're going to have a few conflicts. But. Sure. You, you never had any conflict with anybody specifically or anything no. like that? Uh, what shift are you working right now? First shift. How long have you been on that shift? Uh, just changed that not too long. We went to 12 hour shifts. It's probably been in the neighborhood of four to six months maybe. What were you on before that? I was working uh, four to two o'clock in the morning. Who were the guys that you worked with on that shift? Uh, who were the guys on that shift? Uh, it was me, Jason Ellis was on that shift. Uh, see, Andrew was on third. Nathan Phillips, I believe, was on second. Michael Medley. I can't remember who else was on the shift. It seems like it runs together now. I've worked with all of them at some point or another. You yeah. Know. But there was five or six of us on that shift, so. Okay. Um, When's the, when's the last time that you had seen Crystal? I'm sure it was sometime I seen her just driving around out on the road, but I don't really remember where I was at or so. Did you, so you knew her. You, you knew her enough to know her car to know where her car was. Yeah. Oh yeah. What kind of car did she drive? A maroon uh, Impala. Okay. Maroon Impala. And she lived with uh, your brother. At the Glenview address, she did. Okay. And would she? I mean, would she way back when she saw you? Oh you, yeah, she saw me. She, you know, I mean, she I, probably wouldn't recognize me in the truck. If I was out in the cruiser, you know, usually she'd see me. Yeah. yeah. Um. So how many? How often would you see her out on the road? I mean, was it obviously more often than you saw her person? But probably, maybe two or three times a week. Okay. The last time you, you remember seeing her, she was in a car driving around. That's what I'm assuming. I don't. I, I'm not 100 percent, but I, yeah, I'm almost for certain. Okay. The last time that you actually were in the physically in the same room with her, oh, when was that? It's been a long time ago. I don't. I don't really remember. Were we talking Christmas, Thanksgiving, before that, after that? Could have been Christmas, Thanksgiving. Okay. I mean, did she? What? What did she? Talk about anything specific, anybody in specific? I don't remember that. I can't even okay. remember what I did two days ago. <laughs> you know, I really. Okay. Um, so you said your brother and her seemed happy? For the most part, they did. Okay. Uh, I mean, you know, for the most part, you said, what, what, what about well, it? Well, there's one example I can think of. You know, I think there's been times when Brooks said that, you know, I think sometimes she complained that uh, you know maybe he treated his son better than her kids or something okay. like that. But that's that's about the only thing that really stands out. Sure. But nothing, nothing that like was seriously strained in the relationship. No. Just at all. Okay. Um, okay. 
so so you said the last the last time you saw her was within the last probably within the last uh, couple of weeks maybe last couple of weeks um did she have a job i think at one time she worked up at the fast food mart on bluefield road but that's, right. that's been some time ago okay since then i mean do you know where she's working at or is, does she have a job i'm not even sure uh, did she help Brooks out on, on with the rental rental properties or? Yeah, I don't know anything about that. Right. Um, and when when you would get together, as you know, uh, as you know, just you and her and Brooks or or a bigger part of the family, where would you all get together at? Yeah, I don't know that we ever really got together. I mean, you know, obviously she's been over at Mom's house, you know, mm -hmm. and I've seen her out there, but I mean that that's been a while back. Okay. So we really didn't. We really didn't get together. Okay. Now, is your mom's house down? Uh, is it by the y'all's family farm? Mm -hmm. Pasco Ballard Road. Okay. Um, I think we went out there. Or I went out there the other day. There's a, a like a black barn kind of mm -hmm. a thing. It's called the Skid House. Skid House. Okay. Um, was there a sawmill in there one time? I saw the saw oh, cedar. My, and, yeah, my grandfather. He he did. Okay. He ran a sawmill. I saw the salt cedar. I said, "There's got to be a, a portable mill here somewhere." Yeah. So, uh, my grandfather, you know, he died when I was like maybe six or seven. So, I mean, it's been. It's been a long time. Yeah, that's been a long, okay. a long time. Right. Yeah, that, that had nothing to do with case. I just my own, my own personal good. I love cedar. Mm -hmm. So, um, so you don't remember the last time that you had seen Crystal? How about uh, when do you find out Crystal was missing? When do you remember finding out? Within a couple of days. Okay. Um, how, how did you find out? I think, I don't know if I saw it on TV or. Yeah, I really don't know. I mean, I don't know if Brooks had mentioned it or I saw it on TV. It was all over Facebook and everything. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's everywhere. It's on I mean, national news. I mean, this is, this is, for all intents and purposes, your sister in law. Mm -hmm. And she she's missing. I mean, you did. Do you and your brother just not talk to that extent that, you know, he... That's, he, that's kind of bad, isn't it? I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, but, but he, yeah. never, he never called you and told you she was missing or no, nobody know. else in your family called and told you that she was missing? Or, called and asked, had you seen her? Yeah. Or, it, was it unusual for her to take off like that? Or? I know Brooks has said she's taken off to her, uh, I think her mom's before, but, I, you know, I, I didn't know anything about that either. I mean, I, I know when you get baby mama drama, you try to stay out of it. But I mean, you would think yeah. if he was really, you know, concerned that he would, mm -hmm. hey, my brother's a police officer, he knows what to do. Let me let me call him and see what's going on. Yeah, it's it's not like that. Okay. So you, you don't know how you found out she was missing, whether it was from Facebook or TV mm -hmm. or, or if he mentioned it. No. I mean, I've talked. You know, I've I had several people at Boxing, you know, talk to me about it. So. Like I said, it's ran together at this point. Sure. I mean, has he talked? Has he talked to you about it a lot, or very little, if any? You know, I mean, okay. like, I mean, what, what's what's he said? I don't know that he said much of anything. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna. I guess I'm not really gonna bring it up to him because I mean, I you know I know him well. I know he's a good guy, and that mm -hmm. he wouldn't have anything to do with something sure. like this. So sure. I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and question him about it. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just feel like I know for sure that he had nothing to do with her disappearance or whatever, and. I mean, that's just where I'm at. Sure, sure. Um, but I mean, you would you, you kind of kind of see the flip side of that coin too, don't you? That he's if he's really concerned about her coming home, you might you might he might be talking. You know, man, we got to do something to find her. We got to do this. We got to do that. Yeah. Um, but he's never mentioned anything like that to you. No. What's what's been the mo one thing he's mentioned to you the most during this whole thing? Nothing stands out. Nothing stands out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so she goes, and, and I'm kind of working third party here, so so forgive me, and you may have a better idea on the timeline. Uh, Friday night the third, I think, was the last time that anybody said they they saw her, right? Mm -hmm. Where was that at? Do you know? I think somebody said it was at Walmart. Okay. So. Obviously, she gets reported missing on the 5th, is that right? Yes, the Saturday. The Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. She goes missing Sunday, on Friday. Sunday. Saturday's the 4th. Sunday. Sunday's, Sunday's the 5th. Yeah. So that's when she gets reported missing. Mm -hmm. um, and he never called you for any advice on what to do? No. 
Okay. Uh, I mean, would that be unusual? I don't think so. Okay. Um, when did so did he ever call you after he reported her missing? I'm sure at some point he's called. I mean, I don't really remember what he asked about, but okay. Like, was that before? Do you remember when he was interviewed? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. when, when was that? A few days after the fact. I mean, I like a few days after what? A what few day? days. A few days after everything came out, the SO started interviewing. Did you make a phone call to him when the SO was interviewing him? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, matter of fact, I think it was a couple phone calls, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And you know, kind of got a little little spat on the phone, or it seemed like that to yeah. some people. Yeah. What, 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 why did you call well, him? Well, you know, just basically, I mean, Brooks is a really cooperative guy, and you know, obviously at this point you want to be cooperative, but you sure. also want to protect yourself. And I think at a time like this right here, I mean, obviously you wouldn't be thinking exactly straight. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that he was kind of you know, protecting himself while that he cooperated with law enforcement and mm -hmm. so I didn't want him to, I mean it's just easy to get things confused and stuff and you know, so. Well I mean, you know, you, you said yourself he, he's a cooperative guy and you trust him and mm -hmm. to know that he's not involved in this, then what, what reservations would you have about him talking? Well for one, the guy that's interviewing him has openly admitted that he lies in court. Okay. So I mean that kind of bothered me a little bit that John was doing it, but you know, that's just the way it is, you know, I mean. He knows what we can't. We can't pick and choose what calls yeah, we get. Most so, yeah. What do you think about uh, your brother? He took a polygraph, didn't he? Mm -hmm. What do you think about the results I, of the polygraph? I, I don't think they would have passed him, no matter what. You know, I mean, I think he went up there and did well, and I think that's just what they said. You know, I mean, well, I mean, why would you say that it wouldn't matter? Yeah, it just it just seems like it doesn't matter what he does or says. You know, everybody's kind of like pointing the finger at him, and I mean, actually, that would be natural, but. Sure. You know, I mean, it's just, it, it, at this point, it doesn't matter what he does, you know, he looks like the bad one, so that's the reason why I feel like I do. Well, and that's one of the things we did. We, we called and checked with our polygraphers because, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know what experience you've had with them. Or none, I mean. You know, I, we, we use them all the time, mm -hmm. and, and I'd put them up against any, any of them in the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're that good. Yeah. And, uh, and they work for the state police. They don't work for me. They don't yes. work for you guys here. They don't work mm -hmm. for the sheriff's department. They don't have any interest in these cases except to run the polygraph. That's okay. all that their interest is. But uh, you know, just some feedback from them. You know, and you know, it was it, it is what it is. It was inconclusive. So. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've never even heard of one being inconclusive. Like yeah, you know, but, but, but again, but again I don't know nothing about them. So sure. that doesn't surprise me. Sure. Well, me and him both can 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 tell you we've learned a lot more about the polygraph in the last four or five years than we ever thought we would. Mm -hmm. So. So you talked to him on that day, but he was having the interview mm -hmm. after you called him. I think I called him once. I think the uh, task force guys had his phone, and then at some point, I guess they gave him the phone back, and then I got hold of him. But he'd been up here several hours. You know, it wasn't like I just interrupted right from the very beginning. I thought, what? You know, what the hell are they doing? You so know, I mean, I'm asking the same questions over and over. What are these guys how, doing? How did you know he had been up here for several hours? I guess he, you know, I, get, I think he called me. Okay, so he called you before and said, hey, I'm going to the PD, I'm getting ready to get in. Yeah, I think, uh-huh. And what did you tell him at that point? I said, go for and be cooperative, you know. Say what you mean and mean what you say and just, you know, do the best you can. Did And what did you say to him after when you said he'd been here for a couple hours? What was, what was... I just asked him, I said, what, you know, what the hell's going on up there? They're asking the same questions over and over, trying to trip you up. What, what, what's the deal? And he said he was given a... Uh, detailed statement or whatever. I was like, well, that's fine, you know, just, uh, you know, at a time like this, you know, uh, things are spinning, you know, just, you got you got to protect yourself while you cooperate, just kind of. Did you ever tell him to leave the interview? No, I didn't tell him to leave the interview. Right. Did, did you ever tell him to seek legal counsel before talking to the police again? No. Okay. Um, so you, you, you didn't tell him you need to get out of there or you don't no. trust these folks up here? No, I said go ahead and finish your, uh, go ahead and finish your narrative, whatever it is, your written statement that, you, that you're giving them, but just, uh, you know, just, just watch what you're doing, you know, but, you know, be sure you're thinking clearly and cooperate and go along with it. I mean, you know, I guess the, the conundrum I'm kind of having in my own head, because like I said, we're coming at this from the outside. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we don't we don't have a vested interest in it. We're only one way or the other because it's yeah. you know not our not our baby. But mm -hmm. 
you know, if he's, if he's to the point that you're worried about him thinking straight, don't you think he would be talking about it more to you or to your family members about, you know, well, well I wonder where she's at, I wonder where, what happened? Yeah, I, I think people deal with problems in different ways. I mean, I, you know, I can psychoanalyze it. Sure. But uh, yeah, just different people handle things different. Okay. And is this typically how he handles a stressful situation? You, you, you've been brothers for yeah, 30 some years now, so. Yeah, I mean, I really haven't uh, ran across another situation like this, you know. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I don't know what anything to compare it to. Well, I mean, you know, say, say for example, he's got, you know, three rental properties that need this, this, and this done, and he's got two houses he's got to get put up, or, mm -hmm. or something he's got to get done that week. How does he handle that stress? I mean, does he just go forward? Does it crumple up like a like a piece of paper? Yeah, well, I mean, he's got 100 thousand. What do you think? He goes forward. Yeah, I'm quite. And, and, you know, Katie barred the doors, we're getting this done. Is that pretty much how he, you know, I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. Is that yeah, I just, I just, I think he tries to do the best he can. If he can hand, he just goes on. I mean, obviously his stress level is going to be up, you know, with all sure. the rental properties and everything. But, I mean, he's been pretty successful. So. Sure, sure. But I'm not right there walking along with him, so I can't really testify okay. as to what he's actually doing from day to day. Okay. So, you all have said, you, you, you've been out to the farm, and, and do you all go out there together to work, or do you? Hardly ever. I mean, he does his thing, and I do mine. Okay. There's a big lake out there with fish, yeah, we got four wheelers. You know, it's just a place to go to and relax, and. How many acres is it? Two, 250 to 300, maybe. Been in the family for a long time, or? Yeah. Yeah, my grandfather, I don't know what year he bought it, but I mean, it would have had to have been probably 50s or 60s, something like that. Wow. It's been in the family for, for a long time now. Mm -hmm. um, so when, I know you said you got the what, skid house, is that what you called it? Uh -huh. That's um, what they put them in. He built skids for a living, so okay. that's what they stored them in. Gotcha. They just kind of adopted the name. And okay. I mean, do, do each of you have your own area out there, or is it all his? Is it all? I mean, we all use it, but I mean, it's it's his place, you know. Okay. His and mom's. But I mean, do you have like a, a is it like, is it just communal tools and tractors and things like that, or do you have like a, these are these are Nick's tools, these are Roach's tools? No, I mean, I, no. Okay, I didn't know how, you know, some people have like their own individual sections of, yeah. of things. How come, how come he owns it with your mom? And I don't know that he owns it with mom, I don't know. You I say don't, it's in mom, I don't know if it's, it, well, I thought it was in mom's name, but he's the one that bought, I don't, I, I don't even get into that, you know? Mm -hmm. I think it's in mom's name though. So I mean, it, it's it's your all yours just as much as his, right? Well, no, I mean, I think he paid for it. So I mean, really, I, it, it's in mom's name. He paid for it. It's kind of a messed up deal. But okay, no, so I mean, it, if it's been the family since the fifties, how would he have paid for it? Did he buy? He, he bought extra? it. There's twelve. There's twelve. There's twelve or thirteen brothers and sisters. Oh. Okay. And they sold the farm, and he bought it. Okay. Okay. So he he bought it the rest sense. of the family. Yeah. Okay. He, he bought it. Okay, so when Grandpa passed, I guess, is that when that all happened, or was it before? Oh, no, that? Grandpa passed when I was like five or six. Okay. And then my grandmother just died, you know, five, six, seven years ago. Okay. So when, when she passed, then that's when yes. he, he bought out the other brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. So when, when, when was the last time, I guess, you and him were out there together? Uh, we've been out there within the last uh, couple weeks, you know, I mean, we run into each other out there, you know, I mean, he, mm -hmm. he takes stuff out there, you know, he's, he's got a pile of stuff out there that, you know, from his building sites, he'll pile it up out there instead of taking it to the landfill, and I guess where he's too tight to pay the landfill bill, you know, but, but we run into each other, but we're both so busy, we just kind of pass, you know. Okay. Uh, what you said in the, within the last couple of weeks, would it have been before or after Crystal went missing? I've seen him out there after. After? Yeah. Okay. Was it, do you specifically remember what day? I don't. Okay. There's a camera out there. I mean, you, you know, mm -hmm. it, it can be checked. Okay. Um, you, and do you have, do you drive your cruiser out there? Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's not uncommon for you to drive it out there? No. I use the cruiser all the time. Chief wants us to, you know, he wants us to use them off duty. That way it just kind of provides deterrence and mm -hmm. uh, Chief loves that. Yep. Be seen. Oh, there's police everywhere. I understand. Yeah, that. yeah. That, that's a kind of kind of the same mentality we have uh, from our commissioner. So, mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, what when you drive the cruiser out there, what are you going out there to do? Just hang yeah, out or just ride the four wheelers, hike. So you're not going out there to hook a trail or anything to back your cruiser until no, back into town. No, no, no. Okay. No. Um, all right. So you said within the last couple of weeks, and it was so we can specifically say in the last week. Um, today's the fifteenth, uh, and she was last seen on the third. So between the third and the fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, you've you've been out there with him. I mean, did you go out there together? Did you meet him out there? No, I didn't. He, just, he was just having to be out there. Okay. Um, I mean, did did you talk to your mom? Did you were, were you at her house? Did y'all go out fishing? Did y'all go out yeah, check I mean, on I, cattle? What, I mean, what'd you do? You four wheeler riding and cattle. I mean, I saw mom. I don't really remember what we talked about, you know, but we just more or less passed off. So I mean, I don't always stop at the house. Okay. When you talked about, you said there's cameras out there. What are you talking about? Well, they said there's one right there at Patty and Lawrence's house. I mean, right as soon as you start up Pascal Ballard Lane, you know, the first house on the right, yes. there's a camera on that house. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I thought you meant on the farm. No. There's cameras. Uh, okay. I guess, the, the, I mean, it's no secret that, that your cruiser was, you know, the chief asked you to bring it in. Yeah. Uh, he didn't ask me to bring anything to my house. Okay. Yeah. When... What 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 do you normally keep in your trunk? What's what's a normal duty setup like? I know ours looks like you know evident oh, store right. exploded in our trunk. Yeah. yeah, I mean, well, you know, I've got a cardboard box back there, and I mean, it's got, you know, say it's got a flashlight. For, so we're obviously chargeable flashlights in the car. There's uh, many forms. There's a there's a, a PBT fire extinguisher. There's a department issued shotgun in the car. There's a bag up front with all kinds of stuff. I mean. There's a lot of stuff in those cars. You generally keep all that stuff in your trunk all the time. Some of it's in the trunk, some of it's up front in the seat. You know, all the all the forms I use every day would be up front. You know, I've got something that attaches to the passenger seat, and it's got all the forms, action report forms, and all that stuff I use every day. You take that car home with you. It's a take home car. Yeah, Nobody so else uses it unless no. something was to come up. The only uh, person that's ever, the only other person that's used that car is. Uh, Tom Blair, it was issued to him first and then it was passed down to me. Mm -hmm. But that's you know, that's been a while back. Yeah. How long has that been, you think? That's been a couple of years. Okay. Yeah. Um so you've been the only one that's driven it in the last couple of years. Oh yeah. Right. Um do y'all have stop sticks or anything, stingers? I don't. I mean that yeah, some units do. Okay. Um, so what you keep in the trunk is a cardboard box with some extra stuff in it. Fire extinguisher. Hats, just rain jackets. Hats, rain jackets. I mean, I could sit here and try to tell you every item. I probably when didn't they, come up with half of them. When they, when they uh, took your car, when the PD took your car from your house, what uh, what was in the trunk then? Well, it's this morning grand jury came up. It was just all the stuff I just told you. But there was also uh, one other thing I can remember that was there was a, uh, I don't know, just a, just a regular blanket for moving. You know, where I moved from 104 and then you drive to where I'm at now, I took the blanket that was there and I just put it between furniture to keep it from marring up the fur, you know, the mm -hmm. finish on it. As it went down the road, I guess it was going to jingle around and I it didn't in the trunk of your cruiser. Mm -hmm. You had furniture in the trunk. No, no, I didn't. Uh, uh, no, what I did, I I got the blanket at the farm. I used it and then I was going to take it back in a few days. I forgot about it, mm -hmm. so it's sitting there in the trunk, you know. But no, I used I used my trailer and truck. Okay. So instead of putting it in the truck, you put it in the trunk of the cruiser, though. Yeah, I was going to return it back out there, so I just uh, took to put it in the trunk, and then when I was out there, I was just going to return it to where I found it. Did you just not never get around to it? I didn't. Where did, where, you said you got it from the farm. Where specifically did you get it from? The skid house. There's several of them down there. Where, where at specifically in the skid house? Uh, and when you walk in the front door, right there to the right-hand side. Okay. Do the other blankets look just like that blanket? Mm -hmm. So it's... Uh, I mean, it'd be easy to, to say, look, there's still two blankets here. That's the same blanket yeah, as what was there. I think so. Now, now were, were all those things in, in your trunk when they took the car mm -hmm. other than the blanket? So nothing, what, was what missing, nothing was missing out of your trunk mm -hmm. as far as your fire extinguisher was in there? Everything, everything was in there with the blanket. Okay, so everything was in your trunk, just like you carry it when you go to mm -hmm. work, except the blanket was in there with it. Yeah. So do you, do you remember going out to the farm the evening of July the eighth? I don't, but I very easily could have been out there. That was that was incidentally the same night that your brother was. I think 
same night your brother was interviewed by police. Yeah, Wednesday, July. Mm -hmm. uh, you said there was cameras out there on that that house. Mm -hmm. um, would have the, the cameras would have caught your your car following Brooks on the way out to the wouldn't to the, surprise me. But uh, you said generally, you know, you would just go out to the farm and you would just meet him there. On this occasion, you all both went Well, usually I, usually I don't meet him there. I mean, you know, he's just out there doing his own thing, and yeah. then I go out there and do my own thing. I mean, well, I mean, if that's what happened that night, it would have been just perfect timing that you were following right behind him, mm -hmm. that you just so happened to meet him at the farm. I see, I see what you're saying. Uh -huh. okay. So, so, think back. Was there a time that you all both went out there at the same time for a specific reason? Not that I recall. So it just would have been coincidence that your car was following right behind his truck when it passed by that camera going to the farm? Yeah, that's happened before. Mm -hmm. So this night in particular, it would have been, you would have left after dark. You all came together and, and you would have left after dark. Do you remember he, that night? Easily could have. Okay. I mean, do, I mean, do you remember it? No, really, I don't. Okay. Um, do you remember, did you all, were you all in the skid house? Were you, were you at your mom's talking? No, I mean, I can't even remember what he was doing. I mean, that was the 8th, it's the 15th, I don't know. Okay. I mean, do you, do, you, do you remember being out here, out there with him at the farm that evening? I think I remember seeing him out there. Okay, so you didn't, you, you're, you're saying you didn't intentionally follow him out there? And did you all leave, do you remember leaving together? Mm-mm. Why did, why did he leave earlier or you leave earlier, do you remember? I don't have any idea. Did you leave first or did he leave first? I don't know. But you remember, I mean, it's just been a week ago. Mm -hmm. Driving down past Weller, your car behind his truck. I mean, you got to turn it in the farm there. <clears throat> you remember, you, can, you, can you go back and put that in your head, just driving down that road and you see your brother in front of you? What happened after that? I can't. Let's let's go back. You remember talking to your brother on the phone when he was up here, right? Mm-hmm. What did you do after you got off the phone with him? I really don't know. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Chew tobacco? No. Drink? Nope. No. Drink coffee? Nope. You don't have any fun, do you? What's that? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> Working all the time, like, I understand that completely. Um, so, it, it would be possible that y'all were out at the farm together that night, you just don't remember specifically. You said on the 8th? Yeah. Could have been. Okay. Did you work on the 8th? Last Wednesday. Did you work on Wednesdays? What day did you take the car? Because that would, I haven't been to work on Thursday. Thursday the 9th. I don't think I could, if I was at the farm on Wednesday, then I couldn't have worked. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so. So, what days are you generally off? <laughs> Let's see, so like one week I'll be off uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, come back Monday, work Tuesday, off Wednesday, okay. work Thursday, Friday, so it's, it's hard to keep up with. Sure. I mean, it's a mess. <laughs> well, how, how, do you, how do you keep up with it? I've got a, a schedule that I own. Okay. Yeah, I've got, to, I've got to leave my schedule still today, even mm -hmm. five, six months later. Now, what time do you, what's your normal shift time end? Seven o'clock. So, so, so say if you were, if you went out to the farm, eight, eight thirty. Well, then I could have, oh, then I could have swung that. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so it's safe to say that if you were driving your cruiser out to the farm, you weren't working. Oh, most definitely. Because you don't leave the city to go out to the farm no, while you're no, working, no. right? I wouldn't do that. Okay, so you wouldn't do that, so you would have been off. That was, remember back, that was the same day that he was up here being interviewed. Mm -hmm. okay, it would have been Wednesday. If he was up here interviewed, you had phone conversations with him before he came up here. Uh, he told you he was coming up here, and then after a couple hours, you called, checked on him, you know, told him to protect himself, whatever it was, the conversation that you mm -hmm. had, and then after that phone call, within two hours, both of y'all were driving to the farm on the camera. Mm -hmm. okay. So we know all that. There's no debate about that. We know that. Mm -hmm. What we need to know is 
why y'all both went down to the farm. I know, I know it's going to be hard for you to remember a week ago, mm -hmm. but I can remember a week ago if I'm thinking about a conversation I had with my brother and something like this going on, because yeah. this doesn't go on all the time. So, I mean, we're going to call it like it is. Mm -hmm. you, is it you don't want to remember or can you remember? I, I can't remember. Okay. Because this is what's happened. You made a phone call. He was up here. Within two hours of him leaving here, both of y'all were on the road on the way to the farm, and the camera shows that. Mm -hmm. Time and date stamp. Phone call. Time and date stamp. You're out there. What, what went on while you were out there at the farm? If, if I knew, I'd tell you. I mean, I wish I could give you a detailed written statement. I don't know. I guess it's kind of jump back to, to the cruiser here for a minute. Do you, is there any reason that there'd be any blood in your in the trunk of your cruiser? No reason at all. So you don't transport any biological evidence on a regular basis? No. Uh, when was the last scene that you had somebody that was bleeding? How long has it been? She has maybe a wreck or something like that. That's been a long time ago. Okay. I mean, we're there's no. I can tell you, there's no blood in front of my cruiser. I can. I can guarantee you that. Okay. Now, what about on anything that was in your trunk? Would there have been blood on anything that was in your no. trunk? There's no way. Absolutely none. Now, what about the blanket that was in your trunk? No way. And you picked up that blanket when? Don't know exactly. It was uh, That's to me. uh, two, three, four days after, you know, uh, they they filed the missing persons report. Okay. So a couple, couple days, days, couple days after they filed the missing persons reports, when you picked up that blanket, used it to haul the stuff, then put it back into your cruiser. I, I think so. So that would have been how many days you think the blanket was in your cruiser trunk before? Thursday when they took your cruiser. Man, I hate to, I hate to even put a number on it. I mean, I, I really yeah, don't. One, two, three, ten. How many? Things? I'm not even put a number on it. I, I can't. I, I you know. But you know, I mean, do you know for a fact it was after they filed the missing first report that you picked it and linked it up? I don't even know that for a fact. Well, when did you move the furniture? I, you know, I've got a dozen rental properties. I've been moving stuff out of you know the garage over there for two or three weeks now. You know, I, I've got the garage where 104 Glenview Drive. What did? How long have you been out of 104 Glenview? You said you're. Or you did just a few days. Okay. Was there a certain day you had to be out of there by? Mm-hmm. What was that day? Uh, July the. I wish I could get exact well, date. Well, who, who gave you the date to get out? The guy that bought it. Okay, so there's paperwork that shows he takes possession of it on a certain day. Mm -hmm. How many days before that did you move that furniture out? We can reference that. Maybe what furniture out now? This all my furniture? Whatever you use the blanket for. Uh, I would say I'd say a few, at least a few days before, you know. So a few is two, maybe. Is that, is that what you would term? That's that what you? I would guess to make. Okay, so say you had to be out by July 9th, then a few days before that, or something like that it sounds good to me I mean I, I really I really don't know what was the guy's name that bought the property uh, Mike Ballard and Mike Ballard is is there paperwork on that did you go through a realtor no we I sold it for sale by owner okay and uh, did you do a contract or did you do a deed transfer or anything? yeah we did a contract on it okay do you have a copy of the contract somewhere uh, I do somewhere so there'll be some way we can reference oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you tell anybody that you were on the even the eighth you were with your girlfriend all night and you didn't go anywhere? Did I tell somebody I was with my girlfriend all night? That your girl you were you were home with your girlfriend all night on the, the evening of July the eighth and didn't go anywhere. Last Wednesday, no. I don't I don't remember that. Okay. Um, who have you talked to about this so far? I mean, obviously we're talking right now. Just the, the people of the grand jury. Okay, That's the, the only other person you've talked to about this investigation mm -hmm. is the grand jurors and us three people in this room. Yeah, very little with Chief. I mean, mm -hmm. did you did you talk about it with your girlfriend? Very little. I mean, like I said, we didn't really hang out with Crystal or anything. So I mean, I haven't went into any any detail with her. Well, I mean, is she? I know. I know. 
the typical woman is going to ask 10 million questions around something big that you are. Okay. I mean, we, we, we're both married, we know how our wives are. What about this? What about this? What about that? It's very Amber really not like that. Not like that. No. Okay. Um, do you talk to any of the other officers here? I mean, y'all are obviously no, I've been, off. I've been off work. He just put me on paid leave or administrative. I mean, did, did he tell you not to talk to anybody about the investigation, or is it just do, do you not socialize with a whole lot of people from work outside of work? Or no, I mean I don't see a lot of them at work. Um, I know you know with us the guys that we work with, we're we're talking on the phone all the time. We're we're real social with each mm -hmm. other. Is it just not the case here? Or? I haven't talked to anybody about it. Okay. But just in, just in general, I mean, are you? Are you social with, with the guys you work with, like yeah. Jason Ellis? Did you talk to him a lot when oh, you worked with him? Well, yeah, I mean, I talked to all the guys, but I mean, it's not like we hang out on the weekends together or anything okay. like that, so. But when you're here at work, you talk about oh, stuff? Oh, most definitely. Any, has, any of the officers or anybody come and approach you and ask you questions about the case? You know, no. Instead of knowing that you're kind of close to the, they have, they the family. Haven't, they haven't asked. And you have it. You have or you haven't talked to your brother about this case. I haven't. There's very little to nothing. So I mean, what? How did the conversation go when he said he called you and said I'm on my way up here to the PD to be interviewed? I can't remember. I can't remember how he stated. But he just, I guess, just said they were going to interview him. And that may have been like his second. I mean, did he seem? Did he seem nervous? Was he scared? Was he asking for advice? Was he confiding no, he, in you? Like, what was he? Brooks, the same old Brooks. I mean, if you don't talk that much generally, and your brother calls you, there's got to be some reason he's well, calling you. Yeah, well, I mean, he, he calls me from time to time. It's not like we just completely ignore one another, mm -hmm. but we don't just hang out all the time. But if he called you, you know, that day, what would what, what did he say? I have no idea. I mean, you're, you're the only one that was on the phone line with him that time, right? Just you and him? I mean, no. There wasn't anybody else? It wasn't a three-way call. It was no, his, no. his phone calling you, mm -hmm. uh, and you can't remember anything that was said at all. He didn't say, "Hey, should, is there something I should do? You know, should I wear a nice shirt? Should, you know, Brooks has got Should sense. I fix my hair? You know, that kind of thing." Brooks, no, nah, Brooks. He's just uh, kind of a construction worker. I mean, he's come right on in here. I mean, he's not a. He's not like that. But I mean, he, he obviously knows that you know more about police work than what he does. Well, obviously. So he's, you know, if you've got a question about how to frame something and, and it's something he's better at than you, you're going to call him and ask him, right? Yeah, but Brooks didn't have anything to hide. I mean, no, he hadn't asked me anything like that. You know, Brooks, Brooks hadn't changed any, you know. So he was just saying, hey, if you need a, if you need to get a hold of me, I'm going to be up here at the PD doing an interview kind more of More or less. But then you... you called him back because you were just worried because you had no well, really problem. Did he say, I'm gonna, I'll call you when I'm done? Is that what he no, said? No, he didn't say he'd call me when he was done. <clears throat> no, and I mean, it's not that I was really worried. I just, like I said, he's just a, Brooks is a really cooperative person, and with things spinning like they are, I just wanted to be sure that, you know, things were done the right way. Sure. I mean, I know you made mention of one officer here that, that you think might not be you know, the most trustworthy person in, in your words. Mm -hmm. uh, but is there, I mean, is there anything else that goes on around here? I mean, is the whole department like that, or is it just? No, uh, no, I mean, we've got a really good department. Okay. I can't knock the department at all. In the sheriff's department as well? Yeah, there's a lot of good guys over there. So, I mean, you obviously had some reservations about something because you called them. It, it was just that one officer, that's the only reason why? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just like how, I said, how did you how did you know that Snow was the one interviewing him, not one of us? Well, I, think, I just assumed that I guess since he'd been interviewed before, that you know, I mean, he was the one handling it. So, I mean, there's other good officers here. What if it was like Kaminsky or somebody else? I mean, would, yeah, I don't think I'd have been that much worried about it. Uh, so you you knew that Snow was going to be the one interviewing him because he told you that Snow called him. Is that what you're saying? I can't even really remember that. I just he just said he was going to be interviewed, and I guess since Snow had interviewed him before that. I just assumed that he'd be the one doing the interview again, so. All right, hang tight. Let's go check on something real quick and we'll be right back. Okay. Right.
I want him to cooperate and everything, but I want him to protect himself also. I mean, if, if you, you raised your voice to the point that we could sit there and basically hear word for word on the recording. On the audio On the audio recording. I mean, mm -hmm. that, that's how much you raise your voice. I mean, that, that's a little bit more than raising your voice. It almost sounds like a shouting match. I mean, did, I don't really see it that way, but I mean, I, I wanted him to listen, you know, I mean. So that, that night after you called your brother and told him to leave or told him to, to be careful or, or take care of himself, et cetera, et cetera, um, did you all meet up anywhere? Not that I recall. I don't think we did. I... Well, the, you know, you talked about the videos out there at your, mm -hmm. at the house on the corner of Pasco Ballard. Mm -hmm. um, that video does show you and your brother going out there, arriving at the same time, right behind each other. Mm -hmm. We got witnesses that said they remember passing both of you, you know, on 49. Mm -hmm. You know, one right, you, he was in front and you were behind him. We didn't make a special trip out there together, if that's what you're getting at, I mean. I mean, that's I, just, that's just a. Just a coincidence that y'all showed up at the same time mm -hmm. to go out there. You know, and, and then y'all were out there till Right at 11:22, you you start out and stop down at the end of the drive, back back up, and then you all leave out together. What's that now? You saying I, I backed up or mm -hmm. you, you you started down the drive and stopped, and then backed back up the hill a little bit, and then I guess I don't know if you're waiting for him or what, but you all left together. I I don't remember that, but okay. well, I mean, well, we know, we know you arrived together, you arrived together and mm -hmm. you left together. We know that. Which kind of leads us to, to the issue with the cruiser here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We got we got some issues. Okay. Okay. You, you're aware that when the cruiser was taken from you, that, that it was actually taken to the Kentucky State Police Forensic Central Laboratory. That's what I assume. Do you know what you've done? Okay. So why it's at the lab? They they have you ever heard of luminol? You ever mm -hmm. been any mm -hmm. kind of criminal yeah, investigation yeah. classes? Oh, yeah. All right, you know what luminol is used for? To find blood. Okay. Or other bodily fluids. Bodily okay. fluids. Uh -huh. Okay. So we all excrete bodily fluids, sweat, you know, vomit, anything, you know, mm -hmm. uh, saliva. All that is is what would fluoresce. Why would why would your trunk look like a Smurf if they sprayed it? Why would it fluoresce? The I mean, it would look like there. Chernobyl. There's a couple spots in your trunk in that blanket. I mean, just lit up like Chernobyl. Why, why, why would that? There, there's not going to be any blood in the trunk. Okay, okay. well, I didn't say blood. I'm talking about other bodily fluids. I don't have you blood. Know, um, there, shouldn't, there shouldn't be any body, bodily fluids in the trunk. I mean, there, there's only one way bodily fluids can get into a trunk. That's if a body's near by, right? You know? That's what I would assume. Okay. Um, or unless, you know, somebody puked in your trunk or something like that. I don't think right. that happened. don't think that's the case. So. Somebody peed in your trunk or... No. So why, why, why would that be if that blanket, when they looked at it at the lab? I've got no explanation for that. I don't have, I mean, none whatsoever. Nobody has access to that car but you. You drive it, you put the blanket in there, you said that. If there's something on that blanket or in that car, you're the person that has something to do with it, correct? Well, I would assume, but okay. I mean, there, there, shouldn't now, be, there shouldn't be anything in the trunk of the car. I mean, I don't know. If somebody made that up or what the deal is, but I... I mean, well, we're not in the business yeah, of making stuff yeah, up. Yeah, we I don't, mean, you know, that's not, that's not what we do. I'm just telling you, our job is to find out what happened. It's not to, to change the course of events as they happened. It's to find out what happened. So we can't change what happened in that trunk. We can't change uh, that the test showed that there's bodily fluids in that trunk area. What, what we need to do is we need to find out why that's the case. And, and you, you, you see where we're coming from now. I mean, we've got... Two of you getting there together, you know, you say it's a coincidence. Two of you leaving together. The next day, your your cruiser is, is found with this, you know, the stuff in the trunk and it's taken to the lab. It's got bodily fluid in it. I mean, I, I wish I knew what to tell you guys. You guys just got to test that and, and let me know when you find out. I, there's no reason anything should be in the trunk of that car. Did, did you, did your brother ever call you and say that he'd done something to Crystal? No, he did not. Because here, here's the case. Case is, you know, you're a police officer, we're police officers. 
we all know how that this job works. You know, I don't believe in coincidence after having this job. I don't know if you still do or not. Not, not much. I, I don't, because you know that when somebody is sitting here talking to us and telling us that everything's a coincidence and we have either physical evidence or video or something to, to prove that that's mm -hmm. not the fact, we, we kind of stop believing in coincidence. Yeah. Now, that, that's the case of where we're at right here. You know, I mean, there's, I, there's, there's too much linking you and him leaving the, when he leaves the police department, going down the road, both arriving together, both leaving together, there is some reason why you all went out to that farm. Now, I, I'm not a big, you know, fan of amnesia either because I've heard that 20 or 30 times a week when I'm talking to people, so I don't believe people just lose their memory. Mm -hmm. I think people forget what they don't want to talk about. They, they, they hide those things. And, and sometimes it's a good person that does that because they're trying to protect their family mm -hmm. or they're trying to protect their self. But you know what? There's also bad people in this world. Most and, definitely. And, and those bad people intentionally lie and intentionally use those excuses, you know, to make it harder for the police to find out what really happened because they're deep down they're just a bad person. Oh, I agree with you. Like I so I don't think that we're dealing with a type of person here that's a bad person. I think we're dealing with with somebody like you that's coming forward and trying to be cooperative. Mm -hmm. But then again, I think you're somebody that would protect your family in, the, in a case like this. And if your family told you something, that you would try to protect them to the best of your ability, especially and since you're a police she's, officer. Okay? She's, she's got uh, kids. I mean, there, there's no way that I would cover this up for him. Okay, well. I mean, but, you know, we, we all start taking, we, we all have family. We know how family bonds run. I mean, you know, fam, family's family. You know, mm -hmm. you've got your work family, and you've got your real family. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, there, there's there's things that we, the people have done in the name of family that, that have been in, in positions that, you know, you would just kind of scratch your head to think, well, why would they do that? But it was all out of love, you know, you know, for the family. You yeah. and your brothers, you grew up together, you probably rumbled on the, round, on the ground together, knocking each other's heads off. Yeah. I mean, we, I've got a brother, that's what we did growing up. We, we took turns beating the fire out of each other. Yeah. yeah. But... At the same point, we're, we're, we're at a point here, like he said, coincidences, we throw them out the window. You know, not knowing exactly what time you sat down to ate dinner yesterday, that's one thing. Not remembering mm -hmm. that you ate dinner at all. That you ate dinner at all, that's, a, that's another thing. That's a different thing. Yeah. You know, we, we've, and then you add that on top of the biological evidence that's, that's been located in the trailer. That's what, we're not, we're not that's what starts me right there. I mean, I just can't, I just can't believe that. Well, we're not, we're not asking you hard questions here as far as, oh, I'm, I'm not asking you, did you pull in at 7.22 p.m. on the other night? No. I'm asking you, hey, last week, on Wednesday, a week from today, do you remember going out to the farm? Do you remember arriving with your brother? Do you remember leaving with your brother? What did you do while you were out there? Those yeah. aren't hard questions. And I, and I, don't, re I don't remember that. Okay. I mean, I don't. I mean, was it, is, it, is it just such a routine that you go out there and just arrive at the same time? And We both go out there a lot, you know. I mean, it is a place we hang out, you know, quite frequently. Sure, and, we, and you've told us that, and we believe that. Mm -hmm. but, but, but we're asking you specific days a week ago, okay? Yeah, that I, was, I, have you been out to the farm since then, or is that the last time you've been out to the farm? Since the 8th? Since, mm -hmm. yes, a week well, ago last Wednesday. I'm sure I've been out there since then. Okay, have, have you and your brother both met out there since no. the last? Okay, so we're asking you about the last time that you and your brother met at the farm. All right, we're not asking you for specifics about it. We're just asking if you remember both arriving there, what you did while you were there, and when you left, and, and why I, you were I, there. I don't. I mean, I, I really don't. I'm, we're trying to make it as easy as we can for you as far as asking you questions. Because mm -hmm. from, from our perspective, I mean, we're not talking about just, you know, coincidence y'all showing up at the same time. I mean, your brother's subject of a police investigation right now that's made national news. I'm telling you, I, if my brother was under the microscope right now, I would remember everything that he did, everything that we talked about, everything that sometime we did together. Can, you know, sometime I can't remember what happened two days ago, you know? Well, I mean, and, and, I'm, and, I'm being 100% honest with you. And, 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 and I understand that, but being a police officer, you know, we, we kind of have to remember things. Yeah, you know, if you didn't write it down, if you didn't, you know, remember it, it didn't happen, right? Well, I, but I write everything down. If you look at my notes, I mean, it's all written down. I've got it. When well, I go testify in court, I mean, I, I've got the report right in front of me, you know. Sure. Well, but sometimes, I, I mean, I can't, I don't, I couldn't be what I did two days ago. But, you know, work is one thing, you know, your family is another. Mm -hmm. If something happened that was close to my family, if something happened where that I was affected by it, because you know you're affected by this, whether or not you think you are, oh, you I are. Agree. I mean, you know. Mm -hmm. you're, you're wrapped up in this. Even even if, if there's no indication of anything else, your name is the same as his, right? I agree with okay. that. And you do police work, right? Yes. And this is a police investigation. So there ain't no way you're going to be able to stay out of this completely, right? 
No. Okay, so you ought to be thinking in your head, how am I going to save face with the guys I work with? How am I going to, you know, explain this to my family? How you, you've got to have those things going through your head. If you're if you're a normal functioning person like we all are, then then it's natural for us to feel that way. It's natural for us to be inquisitive, you know, especially as police officers. You know, we always want to know what's going on. We we're, we're like the neighborhood watch 24/7, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's the way we are. Now, I just can't expect that you would forget all those details. You know, being as you're a police officer and sitting here talking to you and seeing how you interact with people, I, I just find that very hard to believe. Well, I'm, I'm sorry you find it hard to believe, but that's the way it is. I mean, it's just, that's, that's it. I mean, I mean, a month ago, I would expect you not to remember something, but a week ago, with all this national, national media attention, and all these questions probably being asked by people out here on the street and all these rumor mills going around, you know, I would expect you to remember that. But at the same time, you got, you know, I mean, he hadn't really came to me, you know, I mean. I mean, you've talked, you talked on that day, you know. Well, he called I'm, you. I'm sure we talked briefly, but like I said, I mean, we haven't really discussed anything, so therefore I don't have a lot of details to give you. Well, we're not asking you uh, details about necessarily what he did more than details about what you did with details about you going to the farm and him being there mm -hmm. okay and you all leaving mm -hmm. hence you being there and you mm -hmm. leaving we, you we, know. we would expect we're just going back to this time y'all arriving at the farm at 8 11 p.m mm -hmm. i mean i know it's it's getting to be summertime but you know that doesn't leave you a whole lot of daylight for fishing or tooling around and it gets dark about nine o'clock nine nine thirty yeah. so but you're there till 11 almost 11 30. Yeah, but I mean, with all this going on, you know, I mean, it's just, like I say, it's just a good way to go out there and get I mean, rid of some stress. Well, well, what did you do to get rid of stress? I mean, what did he do to get rid of stress? Did like, y'all shoot some, shoot some clay pigeons or something? Or? No, I mean, I, like I told you before, I mean, I'll go out there, I ride the four-wheeler religiously. You know, I'll go to the lake and like the last hour before it gets dark, that's about the best time to go fishing. Sure. So, I mean, I mean, I understand y'all's perspective, but it, you, you got it wrong. I mean, they, they all, you, I know you're doing your job and I'm not... You know, I, I don't hold it against you. Do what you need to do. But was, was is there any reason that her DNA is going to come back in your trunk? Oh, I'm a, I'm a hundred percent certain it won't. Okay. You're deer dead in the water. No, no way. What about on that blanket? No way. Any hairs, fibers? No way. Like that? No way. Never took anything out of your trunk. Is what you're saying. I did. So if we had somebody who had seen you do that, seen you take stuff out of your trunk and put it in your name, just making stuff up. The, the coincidence of you all both arriving there at the same time, not having any kind of conversation, can't remember anything that you talked about, anything that you did at the farm, and then leaving at the exact same time. I'm telling you, it was coincidence. I mean, I, I know it sounds fishy, but it's that's I mean, the way so, it is. But, but I mean, you can appreciate how. Oh, how I, I can. I can. I mean, we're, we're, I mean, this isn't our first rodeo, and, and I'm sure this isn't your first time dealing with a criminal investigation, so yeah. you, you kind of know what to expect. Mm -hmm. So I would even expect you to hold this to a higher standard and say, man, this is going to, you know, it just doesn't sound right. You know, it, it doesn't match it, up. It's a weird case. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it is a very odd case, you know, and, and we're, we're, we're like I said, we're, we're sitting here with, it still remains that we, we understand that, that you may not remember every single time you, you've been out to the farm or what you do. You know, you know, we all have habits. Like I said, you ride the four wheeler religiously, and and fishing right at right before dark is the best time to go. Yeah, I understand that completely. But something something's just not adding up here. You know, one plus one always equals two. And you look at the fact that you call him and, and you raise your voice to him like you said to, to tell him that he needs to be careful you know i'm big brother i'm gonna kind of you know try to protect sure. him at the same time i mean i'm not gonna cover something like this up for him i'm just not that kind of guy and furthermore i mean there's no way he had anything to do with this if something has happened to her it wasn't it wasn't because something he did well, again i know you guys have got a job to do i mean do it but i mean you, you're wasting time well well who, who else would be responsible for this I mean, I don't have any names to give you if I did. I mean, what, I, do you, what do you think? What do you think happened? I mean, I, you know, I mean, she's a nice looking woman. I don't know if she got out there on the Bluegrass Parkway and somebody abducted her. I, you know, I don't know what happened. 
but I know Brooks didn't have anything to do with it. I just feel 100% certain. I mean, I, but he's I, never denied it to you. No, I mean, no. I mean, I've never asked him. I just don't feel like I feel like I know Brooks well enough that you know I know he would never do this. I'm not going to question him about it. So you've never even asked him. The, you've never said, "Hey, did you have anything to do with this? Tell me you didn't have anything to do with this." No, I've never asked him that. Never, never said that. No. Well, I mean, you, you say you say you ride the four wheeler religiously. Mm -hmm. How often do you say you go out there? I mean, I'm out there two, three, four times a week. I mean, how come the cameras don't show you there? A couple weeks, you know, the two week period before last week. I'm not saying I go there every week, but I'm just saying religiously on means every week, two to three times. Yeah, so. well, I'm just saying on average, I'm probably out there a good two, three, four times a week. But, but you weren't for the two weeks before. That doesn't, last I mean, week. I, that doesn't make sense. I mean, you know, it yeah, doesn't yeah. make sense. I mean, I, I don't know what he's. It, it should be on the camera. You go back and look at the camera, do what you need to do. But I mean, well, what I, what I, we have. I mean, you say was, th there, there was a three week period I've never been out there? The two weeks before. I don't the, believe that. Before this last uh, week. I don't believe that. Like since before the third. Uh, that's 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 not accurate. Okay. You can, But you can remember going out there then, but you can't remember. Well, I'm just saying, I just feel like. I just feel like I'm 99% certain that uh, there wouldn't be a two or three week gap between uh, going out there. Now, I don't necessarily remember going out there, but there's no way that I went three weeks without going to the farm. No, no way. So you, you, you say you went out to the farm on the 8th, you and your brother didn't have any contact that you remember, you just went and did your own thing, even though you got there at the same time and left the same time. Yeah, I mean, I don't remember anything that he said or anything. We just kind of passed and rolled on. He had anybody with him? I, not that I not that I recall. Did anybody else see y'all both out there, other than the camera at the I don't house pulling it? I don't think so. Because you told somebody, I think, at one point that you you remember being out there that night, and, and you and Brooks sitting there talking with your mom. I don't remember that. I mean. Okay. So. You're saying that the, the biological fluids that they found in the car. Are you for certain there's biological fluids? Yes, I'm, I'm absolutely certain that they, they biological cut, fluids. They, they wouldn't cut holes in your trunk liner and take it for further testing if it was a biological fluid. When you, when, you, when you get that car back and see that car, it's going to have stuff cut out all over it. And that blanket will look like Chernobyl. That when blanket ain't coming back. Well, I mean, you know, there, there's no way that, that none of her biological fluids or anything's going to be on that blanket or anything. I don't know where the stuff came from if it is there, but it's not hers. So you never helped him move a body? I did not. Never helped him move any evidence? Never. Because, I mean, here's what we think happened. We think that your brother is, is a good guy, and we think that he's probably a, a pretty good father to that boy. Uh, I mean, he's probably a pretty good boyfriend to, to Crystal, but we all have times where something just happens. All right, he, probably, he, he probably found out that some other police officer or some other person in the town was, was cracking Crystal. Um, and that he, very easily could have happened. You know, and, and that very easily could have happened, you know? Somebody, maybe, somebody maybe around here, I don't know. But uh, we think that, that that's what happened. And your brother found out about it and confronted Crystal about it. And when he did, you know, he probably tried to maybe do something to her as far as, you know, making her understand that that wasn't going to fly with him. Yeah, and, that didn't happen. And, 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 then no after, and then after that point, you know, maybe it went just a little bit too far. And when it went just a little bit too far, he couldn't turn back time. And when he couldn't turn back time, who's he going to reach out to? But the one person that he trusts and knows that would help him out, and that would be you. And when he called you or he reached out to you, you know, you heard that your brother was in a tough spot and you being the good family man that you are, the, the good person that you are, you thought, well, I know this is wrong, but it's also right to take care of my brother and to keep him from going to prison for I the rest of his life. I can see you looking at things that way, and, and I mean, then there's no way at that point. At that I mean, point, I would have told you that, you know, well, at, at that point, Nick, you, you know, you talk to him and, and he asks you to do something for him and you try to help him out with advice all that you can, but it finally comes to a point where advice isn't good enough anymore. He actually needed somebody to help him with something. And at that point, Nick, that's when you had to actually do something that you're ashamed of and that you're not proud of and you blocked it from your memory because you are ashamed of that. 
And because yeah. you're a good person, you actually have feelings, you block that out in your head. And when you block that out in your head, that's why you're having a problem remembering this stuff. Mm -hmm. But I know, you know, and, and Detective Vaughn here knows that something like that happened. And that's exactly what we think happened in this situation. And Nick, this is the this, this is the this, time we're this in is the place. This okay. is your one chance. Now, now Nick, if we find out that this stuff comes back in your trunk, or if we find a body, if a hunter finds that body pretty soon, assuming mm -hmm. you know that they do, um, it, it's going to be a different game. It's going to be a different ball game at that point. Okay. Well, I, this right now is the first inning. You know, once we find that out, that's closer to the ninth. We've got less time to make up ground and change what's on the scoreboard mm -hmm. because the scoreboard's going to be the same as it would be in the ninth inning, as it would be in the top or the bottom. It's not going to be what it was in the first. Mm -hmm. All right, we can change the score right now, but we can't later. We so, can. Nick, this is the only opportunity that we have to sit here and find out if you're the actual honest person that we think that you are. Well, I'm 100% honest. Uh, and, I, and I don't deny that, Nick, but, but you're not being honest with us about this, okay? Well, now, whether it's not choice, honest. Well, okay, and it's obvious you, you've got plenty of experience. I mean, you guys are squared away, but I can tell you, well, you well, there, Nick, there's Nick, no Nick, way it happened the way you said it. It's, it's, it sounds logical. It's very logical, Nick, yeah, because but it's what happened. But no, it didn't happen that way. It didn't. Okay. Then, How do you know it didn't happen you that know, way? Nick, you can't well, remember what happened. Well, he's saying, bro, he's saying Brooks did it, and I was in on it. I mean... It, there's no way. It, but it, were, were you there? Were you going well, to say that, that Brooks didn't do it? No, but I know him well enough to know that Brooks well, I know lots it. of people, okay? I've known troopers that I've worked with for my entire career. And guess what? They're not troopers anymore. And I thought I could say that. Because they made a And I thought I could say that. Because you know what? We're all people. No matter what, what this says, mm -hmm. no matter what we go to church and say on Sunday, no matter what that we appear like, everybody is a person. And every person can change in a heartbeat. Well, Whether I mean, they choose to or not, sometimes things just happen. We make mistakes. But I haven't, I haven't made any mistakes, and I have been 100% honest. Well, Nick, I, I don't disagree that you know you hadn't made any mistakes in your career, maybe. But but in this, there's been some mistakes made. Otherwise, we wouldn't be sitting here talking to you. Yeah. Because when we start thinking with this, this goes out the window. Logic goes out the window. Man, all I can tell you is, I mean, Brooks is a good guy. He didn't have anything to do with this. You know, I, obviously, you know, I'm hoping for the best and expecting the worst because I'm a police officer. Mm -hmm. I hope she walks in his front door any time, but at the same time, I mean, she's been gone for a while. She had to make contact with the kids. Well, you, you know, guys, it's, it's national media attention. We know that, that she's not just out walking around in the public somewhere mm -hmm. because somebody would have called us. Yeah. All right, it's been all over the news. Or she would have seen yeah. and at least her, called, her, called here and said, hey, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't have any way to get money. She wouldn't have any way to call anybody, okay? Yeah. So the assumption of what you're talking about, assuming the worst, I think we can say that's logical to think right if now. If she had a flat tire, she would have used her cell phone to and call somebody. To call somebody. Her, cell phone, it makes her, sense. her cell phone, it makes sense. Her I mean, cell phone's dead out there. There's nobody calling to ask for help. Mm -hmm. You know, she didn't call. Now, Crystal's not the type of person, from what I know of her, and I've done a lot of background, she's not the type of person that's going to get out, get the spare tire out, get the jack out, change the tire, and nothing be out there on the scene. You know, but yeah, I don't, think she, I don't think she would change the tire either. Okay. She, she, called would, somebody. She, she would have called somebody, mm -hmm. okay? She would have called her, her boyfriend, she would have called her mom, her, her mm -hmm. mom, dad, he, she would have called the police, called 911, I don't know, maybe even would have called you, I don't know. But she would have called somebody. And you know, I think she didn't do that. And she didn't do that. You know as well as we do. The bluegrass is not very heavily traveled at that time of night. After after ten o'clock, you might see a car every minute or two. Yeah, man, I can appreciate the job you guys are doing. I mean, I'm not, you know, but but I mean, we're, I want, I want we're not just doing a job though, Nick. We're trying to find out for that the the four kids. She got four yeah, kids, you right? Know, Four, 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 five, five, maybe five. five. Okay, she's got five kids. We're trying to find out for them because it's not fair for them to not know what happened to their mom. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, and that's why we're here. We're not here. We're not here to, to get anybody in trouble. I mean, that's part of our job. We okay. got to arrest people. We got to put them in jail. But our main job, or what I, what I come to work for, is to to solve these crimes, mm -hmm. to give people answers. All right, and I'm not going to waste my time on something that's not worth it. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be here talking to you, Nick. If, if I thought this was a waste of time. And when you said it's a waste of time, you know, I, I don't think well, you I think understand the, that. I think the okay, time this would is be, not this is I, not a waste of time. I man. think the okay. time would be better spent somewhere else. I mean well, we're that's all I'm we're, we're at. I think that's I think what, I think the time would I'm be better spent right here if we just all started telling the truth. 
You know, well, I, know I, started talking I know I'm telling the truth. Well, Are you Nick, telling the truth? Nick, I'm telling the truth. Okay. But what I need you to do is I need you to remember those things that you say that you can't remember. Okay? Whether it's it's damning towards your brother, whether it's damning towards somebody else, I just, I, 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 there's a reason why those aren't coming forward. Okay? There, there is a reason. There is a reason. You know what it is? Well, if you can't remember it, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's it. That, that, that's not a very good reason. Well, you know that. You know that in your heart. You know that's it, not It a may good not reason. be a good reason, but it's the truth. Well, it's not a good reason. Okay. And, well, then, and we're, we're thinking of reason and logic in this room. You've already mentioned it twice. Yes, that's logical. Yes, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, those are the kind of things that, that we use as investigators, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then, then you added the addition, the, the, the dog hitting, indicating on, on your car. Let's take it to the lab. Biological fluids are found in the trunk of your car where there shouldn't be anything. They, there shouldn't be anything. There's not going to be. There not shouldn't be. There, there's not going to well, be. Well, there is. I mean, there's there's no dispute in it. There is biological fluid in the trunk of your car. Just, the dog wouldn't have hit on the quarter panel in the trunk if there wouldn't have been something in there. We wouldn't have sent it to the lab if the dog didn't hit on it. it the lab wouldn't sense. have tested it and sprayed luminol and it came back looking like a smurf if there wasn't something there. There's... You know, if just the dog hit on it, maybe the dog had something up its nose that day, okay? But when it, when you take it and you put it and you and you spray it at the lab, you know, that's two different things that are verified yeah, there's something. And in the that guy car. that had the car before you was a neat freak. I mean, yeah, it was okay. probably spotless when you got it, yeah. wasn't it? But, you know, I mean, the other thing you, you got, you know, when speaking about logic, I mean, who would do this on a city-maintained cruiser? Who, well, you know, I mean, who would do that? What better, what, what better way to go undetected? I disagree, man. I, with, I just disagree with that. What better way to go on to take? Who's going to stop a police car? Yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I just. I mean, I, I'm the bluegrass. How many people no, 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 no one's going to do who's that. Gonna stop a, who's going to stop a truck that's been followed by a police car? Yeah. Nobody. Who, who's going to think anything if they see a police car on the side uh, of the road? I see, I see your side. Of, I guess there's flip sides of everything. But, but who's going to think of anything if they see a police car on the side of the bluegrass parkway behind a car with a flat tire? You know, dropping dropping a car off on the interstate. Nobody's gonna think anything of it. They're gonna say, "Well, I mean, you're right. It, you know? I, I can't deny it, you know." But uh, you, you're wrong. I mean, well, you, you you tell me that you're telling the truth, and 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 that's what you're you're maintaining, right? Most definitely. And you're telling me you want to be cooperative. That's why you're here, right? Yes. Okay. What about taking a polygraph exam? You took one to become a police officer. I took one to become a police officer. Didn't you take one? Yeah, I did. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Now we know that, that your brother went up there and took a polygraph, okay? He didn't fail the polygraph. All right. We didn't we didn't say he failed the polygraph. Mm -hmm. They said that the polygraph was inconclusive, which means it's neither pass nor fail. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if they can't get a hundred percent accurate reading, they're not gonna make a judgment on it, right? Because they're being fair. All right, inconclusive doesn't mean anything. It just means inconclusive. It's like fucking two cars. If you can't tell which one was the one you're you're getting ready to write a ticket for for speeding, you're not going to write it. Yeah, you don't you don't pull them out. Yeah, unless you're 100 percent sure. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind to take the polygraph. I mean, I really don't. Uh, so you, so you you take polygraph and say the exact same thing if I ask you on the polygraph if they said Nick, did you have any involvement with the disappearance? I'd say no, person. because I didn't. Okay, and if they said Nick, did you have any knowledge of? her disappearance, what would you say? No. Okay. Now, if they ask you, did you load that body up into the trunk of your Barstown City no. Cruiser? No. Okay. So, pretty easy test, wouldn't it be? Sounds like it. Okay. You'd be willing to do that? How'd you do on it? How would you do on it? I think I'll pass it flying colors. I've got nothing to hide. How about anybody else? I mean, did, did Crystal do you think Crystal would have known something that she shouldn't have known, and that's probably why she went missing? If you don't believe the story about him getting, you know, maybe a little physical with her maybe one time, do you think she could have known something? What's that name? Back, back up a little bit. I'm not following. Okay. You. Well, you, you said you don't believe the story that he maybe got a little physical with her. No, I don't think Brooks has ever been physical. Okay. Now, what about uh, Brooks? He's got a lot to lose. I mean, he's got a pretty, pretty nice life, it seems like. I mean, he's doing pretty well for himself. What if what if she had some information that would turn his life upside down? Yeah, I mean he would still no matter what she had, he wouldn't have done anything like this. Okay. And what if she had information on somebody like you or somebody else? What, what would you say about that? I don't know where you're going. Information. What, what kind of what do you think? I mean, what if she knew something about you that you didn't want anybody else in the world to know? Uh. Or, or anybody, not not just you. I mean, and, what, what you're, and, and if she did, what, what do you ask? Do, do you think that might have been what happened? I mean, is that more logical than him getting a physical altercation with her? Mm -hmm. What's more logical? I mean, did she pop off and say, you know, 
Well, I, I know you're dirty. You're doing this and this to these tenants, or you're doing X, Y, and Z to this, and he just, you know, and just, you know. He ever say anything like that to you? No. He never mentioned anything about her making stuff up about it. No. Telling her friends anything. So, so obviously we've gone down that. It's not a logical explanation in your mind. I don't think so. Right. And. and what, like like him, I agree. I think what happened is it was something heat of the moment. We all get in the heat of the moment, and 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 just be honest, shit happens. Mm -hmm. You know, shit happens that we can't take back that we wish we could. Yeah, I mean, I, I just you know, I I know nothing like that happened, and I mean, you guys are kind of going over the same stuff. I mean, I well, I mean, it did, if, if it did. I'm gonna tell you, if I could help you in any way with the investigation, I would. I mean, I'm just that kind of guy. You know, she's got kids. There's no way that I could uh, I could deal with something like that and just cover it up. Well, what about Brooks? You know, what about him? What about him? Is he that type of person, or is he I think, that person that could? I mean, ever everybody's different. You know, no, I don't, he, he, there's no way he can do something like that. He's not capable of it. Would he be capable of asking somebody else to do something like that? Brooks ain't gonna hire that out. I mean, it's just it's there's just no way he had anything to do with it. What about uh, he rents a lot of property? I'm sure he rents to some shady people. Oh, I bet he does. They ever found any indoor grows or anything in any of his properties? No, not that I'm aware of. Again, you know they do that around here a lot. You know, oh, yeah, properties. most definitely. Meth labs, yeah. anything like that. Yeah, I mean, Nelson County's full of dope. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. um, any chance that he'd be involved in something like that? No way. Bruce yeah. doesn't fool with any kind of drugs. He doesn't drink. No well, way. I mean, there's certain people that are involved in that kind of stuff that aren't you know, aren't involved yeah, in it yourself, yeah. you know what I mean? They're in it for the money. Yeah, but right. he's not, I mean, he makes plenty of money. Well, what do you what do you think should happen to somebody, say say they, they killed somebody in the heat of the moment? Just kind of a, it was, they didn't, they didn't really mean to. I think like they're just as guilty as somebody that killed them anyway. Yeah, I don't have any patience for that kind of crap. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's got kids and stuff, and I mean, anybody that could uh, have anything to do with her disappearance or possibly kill somebody, man, they need to be dealt with. What, what about somebody that, that comes in after the fact that, that didn't have anything to do with, with the killing or the disappearance? And I think they're just as guilty. Do you think any of them should be given a second chance? No. I don't believe in second chances. I mean, I'm, kind of, I'm, I'm a pretty conservative guy. You don't want a lot of issues. And mm -hmm. I mean, man, anybody to do anything like that, just we don't need them here on earth. So if, if Brooks did do this, you feel the same way? Most definitely. If Brooks did it, he'd be dead to you. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have another thing to do with him. I mean, anybody that's that despicable and can just disregard the kids, and I mean, that's that's a that's a pretty nasty person. Even, about about even, as bad as it gets. Even if there was a reason, if that person thought they had a reason, I can't think of one reason in my head that could justify something like that. If somebody, you know, we obviously have to, to go through our lives thinking different than other people. Uh, as police officers, you know, we know we might kill somebody every day we come to work. It's a possibility. But that's only if somebody's going to try to kill us first. Exactly. Now that's but obviously self defense. That, that, I mean, that's, that, not that, that's a difference. Okay. Yes. But uh, having that same mentality, you know, did Crystal and him have ever had any problems maybe where she could have? Done something to him where he had to defend himself, and then I don't really know, and I don't really know of any instance like that, or the instance y'all brought up about her seeing some other dude. I mean, I, I really, well, I, I can say fairly sure, certainly that she was seeing other people. You yeah. know, she may have. I mean, I didn't really know her that well. I can't, I can't tell you you're wrong. You know, and your brother, you know, has he, uh, has he ever been known to run around on girls? I don't think he's ever ran around on her. I can't say that he's never cheated on a girlfriend, but. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, your brothers, you've probably seen some things or heard some things in the past, but you know, as far as Crystal, was, he wasn't running around on her? No. Well, why weren't they married? Why didn't they get married? You ever talk about marrying her? Well, I mean, that, as far as I knew, she was married to, uh, was it Keith Rogers or mm -hmm. whoever it was? I mean, and, and I you, think they, you know, at one time they were talking about, uh, you know, trying to get her divorced from him, but as far as he, either one of them running around, I, I don't believe that was the case. That's what, I, that's what I believe. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I wasn't around her a lot, and I can't tell you that you're wrong. 
Well, when could you take the polygraph exam? Uh, I'll be off the next few days, so I mean, okay. I mean, so, I mean if, that's if, we, if we if we got one set up for tomorrow, or got one, well, it's kind of late now to set yeah. one up tomorrow, but uh, maybe if we got one set up for the next couple of days, would that be something that you well, could why, do? Why don't we just shoot for Monday? Okay. Well, what if they're, you well, know, what, today, what is today? Today is Wednesday, so we got Thursday and Friday still before they close down for the weekend. Okay. And well, it all, all depends on their availability. Yeah, I mean, they, well, might, they, might, have, they might, might have. I've got a lot of stuff going on. I just moved and everything. Let's just try to shoot for Monday. And if that'll make you guys happy, then, then I'll be more than glad to do it. Well, I don't have a problem with it. The thing about it is, you know, we go up there and take the test. Uh, you, you're telling us that you're you're being honest. Yes, right? 100%. And you're 100% you're on that. Mm -hmm. Now, you know that I've sat here and talked to people in that same seat that you're in right mm -hmm. now that have told me they're being 100% honest. And later on, I find out they're not. Okay, is that a fair assessment? Most definitely. Okay, so you sitting in the chair that I'm sitting in right here, and somebody sitting there in your chair telling you that same thing. I'm skeptical. Poly as you are. The, the, I'm probably more skeptical. The, the the polygraph is something that can that can help us. It's a tool. We don't use it in court, but mm -hmm. it's a tool. Yeah. All right. Just if, like if that makes you feel, you know, whatever it does for you, it'll be fine. But but agree and do that now. You're not going to change your mind later. No, you're, 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 going, probably, you're going to be a man of your word, and you're going to take polygraph if we set it yes. up. Yes, sir. Well, I can tie it. All right. Do you want anything to drink? No, I'll just, just be wrapping it up, though, because I'm, I'm fixing to get out. Okay. Right. keys back from the car so we can get out of here. My, my, my behind's about to kind of sleep. Can you think of anything else I need to ask you or anything else that's yeah, important? I, I, mean, I, I think you did a good job, you know. I mean, I can commend you for that. I, you seem like a pretty squared away dude. Well, you know, 
I just want to make sure that we cover everything because obviously there might be a second opportunity for us to sit down and talk. Uh, I mean, if you remember something that's different between now and then. Yeah, uh, I mean, you got set up that polygraph exam, and I mean, I'm sure we can talk for a minute or two before or after that if we need to. If, if you've got a card, I'll be more glad to call yeah. you. Something I, 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 I mean, I.